welcome back. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected our lives in so many ways. And one of the more interesting ways is that I think it's encouraged people to think about life and that it's just too short. Take some risks, try something new. Could be a new hairstyle or maybe changing your career. So if you're out of work due to the pandemic or maybe you're just looking to finally take that big step and make the career change, we've got help for you. Joining us is Angela Keelan, and she's a life and career coach. Thanks for joining us nice today. Nice to see you, thanks for having me. So nice to see you. I know one of the standard pieces of advice, I know I had it when I was approaching the college years, was do what you love, follow your passion, and, and everything will just follow along naturally. I'm curious what your take is on that. Well, it absolutely does work sometimes, mm -hmm. and then other times uh, there are more things to consider because there are differences between our interests, our purpose, our passions, our natural talents, and our calling. Mm -hmm. And we don't think about that in detail. We just think about what we love. And so oftentimes it's really understanding the differences in what, our, what those things are for ourselves mm -hmm. is the key to really aligning with our career um, opportunities and success opportunities. And some, some steps people take to achieve different clarity on their goals, right? Mm -hmm. So can you kind of like pinpoint that for us a little bit too? I've got five steps, so I'm gonna go. Oh, awesome. I'm ready because I can. <laughs> so um, the first thing is to embrace your intrinsic nature. So if you are someone who is a, um, you know, happier in a supportive role, embrace that. How wonderful, you love to help people. Mm -hmm. If you're someone who's really talented at leading and managing, fantastic, go for it. Every job is, in, is just as valuable and important. If you're a visionary and you wanna be an entrepreneur, well, that's fantastic. I mean, these are things that we should embrace and not try to be someone we aren't. That's when we really get into trouble. Next yeah. thing, discover your core skill set. So we all have these deep-rooted foundational skill sets. How do we figure out what those are? Take some time, you can always enroll someone to help you, but really knowing what your skill set is is going to play out throughout your career, no matter what industry you're in, as long as you're aware of you know, where your talents are. Mm -hmm. uh, number three, determine your life interests. So this is the fun one. You get to write down all the things you're interested in. Hooray, who doesn't <laughs> love doing that? Mm -hmm. Once you do that, put a star next to the top three and figure out if those are the ones you can talk about all day long. If that's the case, those are the ones you should focus on in terms of a career, because we really want to do something we're passionate about, mm -hmm. but also how does that fit into, again, our skill set and um, our nature. And the fourth one, determine your core values. Values are so important. This is the how of how we do our jobs, the culture we work in, um, the hours, the people we work with, what it is that we're doing, um, how we do it. So determining your core values because you want to live in alignment with those. So all of these things together, make a plan, and if you need help, get someone to help you. Nice. Those are really good. I think I'm gonna to have to watch this again. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what is some of the advice you can have for someone that's going, huh, I'm not sure I'm in the right career path? Yeah, so the first thing I would say is, look at the what and the how. So what are you, what are you doing? Are you enjoying what you're doing? Does it align with your skills? Does it align with your nature? And great, if it does, then we've got that part figured out. Mm -hmm. Is it the how? Is it the values? Are your values being trespassed? A lot of today's day, we're moving at a million miles an hour and the world is changing. And you know everything is trying to evolve. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, people's values um, are not in alignment with where they are, where they're working. And so it's a matter of assessing what opportunities there are to uh, work within the culture you're in or if there's perhaps another place you need to be. Wow. And you offer a class um, that helps people determine their career goals. Is that right? How can yeah. people like get in touch with you to do that? And can mm -hmm. you give us a little detail on that? Yes, I offer a program that helps people get more career clarity on where they want to be in the next year, five years or so, so we develop a vision together, um, we work on some goal setting, and we work on short-term goals to start. So it's three goals in three months, mm -hmm. and really just helping someone make a plan of what it is, they, where they wanna go and how they wanna get there. And so this is a, it's called Power Moves, and it's available on my website. You can uh, sign up for a discovery uh, career session to learn more about you know, where you wanna head mm -hmm. and what your vision is, so. 
nice. Yeah. So, oh. I saw that you have a free 50 minute career discovery session. Is that true? Yes. Yes. Oh. yes. So I really, I just really feel like people, when they're happier in their jobs, everything aligns. Mm -hmm. um, and so this is just an opportunity for people to start to learn about um, the process and just do a check-in with themselves. All right. I yes. wish we had more oh time. If you want to watch this again, just go to YouTube and put in TVW Madison. I know I'll be doing that. Otherwise, mm. check out Angela. She's at AngelaKeelan.com. We'll be right back.